Welcome to 10 minutes lecture in computer science. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about data abstraction. Before discuss about what is data abstraction, we need to recall what is three level DBMS architecture, which is also referred as three schema DBMS architecture. Three level architecture is an architectural framework for database proposed by ANSI standards. This architecture allows a clear separation of overall database view from the end user, from the end user perception about the database and its implementation. The basic idea is to hide certain details regarding the data organization and storage from different database users. As you may know, there are different types of users with respect to a database management system. So what we want to show is only the required data as per the different user type. For example, the end users are able to access only what is provided to them through an interface. In this regard, the concept of data abstraction helps a lot. Also, the database system which is able to separate the three different levels actually exhibits a flexibility and adaptability. So this flexibility and adaptability is one of the very basic characteristics of the database system and it separates the uh, idea from the basic, very basic concept of file processing system. So the very basic idea here is to hide the details regarding implementation, storage, and organization of a database from end users. So the three level DBMS architecture, the flexibility and adaptability provided by any database system is called as data abstraction. It, according to the three level DBMS architecture, we have physical level, which is the lowest level, and the next higher level is conceptual level or logical level. And the top level, we have view level or external level. In view level or external level, we have one or more views. So view one, view two, and so on, view n. These three levels talks about the schema or implementation of a table in different levels. At physical level, we are dealing with the physical organization of a table structure. Logical level or conceptual level deals with the structure and relationships between structures. And at the view level, it is the uh, structure that is permitted for external users, so-called end users. So there are three different or number of different possible views. At each level, we can relate the design of a table or a database to a concept of schema. Schema is overall system structure, as you know. We have physical schema, that is the database design at physical level. It deals with how the data are actually stored. It, talk, it talks about the file organization, how the table as a file stored in the hard disk and how the records are arranged inside the file and do we have indices to access the file as fast as possible so all these low level implementations are considered as physical schema and it is in the physical level in the next higher level we have conceptual schema it deals with the design 
of database at logical level. It talks about what data are stored in the database and the relationship exists among those data. For instance, I have a table and the table is linked to another table through a foreign key. And I have a table, it has many attributes and I need to define the name of the attributes, the type of the attributes, the size of the attribute and so on. So this deals with the conceptual schema. And at the top level, there is external level, external schema, a view schema, at sometimes called as sub schema. It is a database design at view level. It's the highest level of data abstraction. And it is the most customized level of data access for different users. For instance, as a customer, bank customer, I have a view of my database, my data. I may have an internet account, internet banking account, but I'm not able to access all of my data through internet banking because I'm a restricted user. What I see is my view. It is different from what others are going to see. What permissions are given, what view is provided to a cashier is different. And cashier has certain limits. He cannot go beyond that. So this is of, it is with respect to different types of users and their accessibility permissions. So how they can interact with the database. It is very much restricted. That is what the uh, external schema is about. So that is the reason why we have many, many number of uh, view schemas at view levels, many view levels. Right? Even we could say that whatever each one, each internet banking a customer sees is its own view, a different view. Okay, so view can be restricted from a table in column wise or row wise or both. We can filter the data and give permissions accordingly. Let us see an example and relate this data abstraction, three levels of data abstraction with that particular example. See here we have lowest level of physical level, we have next higher level conceptual level, then at last we have view level. Let us take an example, a schema, table, train ticket. Train ticket. At the physical level, it deals with the physical schema of the table train ticket. That means how the table is stored as a file in the hard disk and how each record each record of the table train ticket stored, how it is organized. And also it's about the file type that is generated when we create a table train ticket. And do we have any index on the table train ticket to boost up the performance of the system? So these are some of the things that we uh, store at the physical level, a physical schema. Then at the logical level, the same train ticket, it talks about, for our example, it's about the different attributes and the data type and size. Also, do we have any conditions, constraints over this table and the link to other tables and so on. All these structural components is stored in the logical level. And at the view level, we have many views. I have shown you uh, just two views, how the passenger is going to see and how a clerk is going to see, a booking clerk. Passenger may be access, able to access the passenger name, passenger age, birth option while booking a ticket. On the other hand, the clerk is able to access birth number and coach number and so on. So you might have uh, understood the difference when you try to book a ticket online and at the ticket booking counter. So two different views are there and both are trying to access the same train ticket table but the accessibility is entirely different. Finally, what are the advantages of data abstraction? The first advantage is portability. 
it is important since it is often desirable to be independent of a specific database vendor so the design the conceptual design or a view level is not going to affect any different uh, it's going to be changed for any different rdbms no changes at all they are going to be same at the physical level also suppose if i create a uh, index for a table and if i'm going for a different dbms vendor there also i'm going to use the same thing so that provides some kind of portability the second important advantage is the data independence physical data independence logical data independence so physical data independence is about i'm able to change this way i organize my file or the file type or some of the indices and when i try to change this one i don't need to adjust anything from the conceptual level okay so that is about i'm able to change the physical schema without affecting the next higher level the logical schema this is called physical data independence the logical data independence is about changing the logical schema should not affect the view level for instance if i want to add an attribute with an existing table and this is not going to affect the views existing views so this is an example of logical data independence so data independence is an advantage of data abstraction and finally it provides security because the end user is not able to understand what is the structure of the database because what he sees is entirely different from what actually implemented so these are all the data abstraction advantages so today we discussed about the data abstraction and three levels of uh, dbms architecture and how it provides flexibility adaptability and security to the database thank you